Uh, well, I don't have a gavel, so that'll be it. Well, thank you for everyone coming. To, this is the uh, February 28th, the last night of February. I guess it's cold in the chamber, but warming up outside. It's the City, Plan City of Edina Planning Commission. Uh, Jackie, would you take the roll, please? Here. Here, thank you, Jackie. Well, um, looks like we have a nice audience tonight, and we have start off. We have an uh, agenda. Does any anyone uh, are there any changes to the agenda? I move approval of the agenda as it's published. And I'll second that. We have a mo motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay. And then we have meeting minutes from February 14th. Is there? Any discussion of the February 14th meeting minutes? I move approval of the minutes as submitted. And I'll second that. A motion and a second. Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. Okay, we're moving along. Um, I, I think we have some high school students here tonight. This may either be the best night to be here or it might, they might be the not quite the best, but. It won't be the most exciting. <laughs> Um, the fifth item on our agenda, four minutes in, five items in, is public hearings. And the first item is a rezoning and a variance for 5,000 Vernon, rezoning it from zoning uh, PCD-4 to PCD-2 with variances. However, this item is going to be continued to our next meeting on March 14th. Commissioner Thorson. I move to continue the public hearing until March 14th. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll second that. <laughs> what a team. Could somebody on the same side second so I don't get a sore neck? <laughs> <laughs> Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, the sixth item on the Planning Commission agenda tonight is community comment. This is an opportunity for members of the public to address a matter that may be of interest to the Planning Commission that is not otherwise on our agenda. And you basically can have three minutes, come up, speak at one of the lecterns. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to say something relative to the Planning Commission matters? I move like to close it. the public hearing. I'll second. Any discussion? Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All right. Under item seven, reports and recommendations, the agenda tonight says none. So I'll, I'll just move along. Or should we move, what, do we need a motion to move along? No, thank you. And then we have correspondence and petitions. Carrie, are there any? We don't have no? any. No, we have none. Ninth item on the agenda is chair and member comments. And then we have something called liaison comprehensive plan update. Carrie, would you like to address that matter? It's just an opportunity. For, we've kind of talked about having this as a standing item on the agenda for the liaisons to update what's going on with our with our uh, small area plans and the comprehensive plan. Um, the, li the liaisons being city staff members who are, who are responsible for working with other boards and commissions in the city that interact with us as kind of the uh, communication links between the Planning Commission and the other boards and commissions? Um, yeah, it, it's actually the chairs of the work groups <laughs> okay. is the intent there. Okay, so that would be us. So yes. are there, are there, is anyone here that would like to discuss any? Commissioner Barubi. Um, I will just mention for the public record and for those who are listening that the 44th and France small area plan group is scheduled to be presented in front of the planning commission on March 14th, two weeks from today, and then scheduled to be presented to the city council on April 4th. Which, third. Third, sorry. So that would be four weeks from today. So just for the record, that's thank, the schedule. Thank you, Sheila. Are the, are, would anyone else like to discuss any conversations they've had with their commissions? Commissioner Lee. Um, I think John and I will be attending the uh, Transportation Commission meeting in March on the 15th. Uh, they are wrapping up their recommendations for their chapter 
So we will be checking in with them, but they had requested one of us at least to go and uh, kind of just finalize uh, and look, do an eyeball of their, over their, um, their chapter. So that's one thing. And then the second thing I wanted to say is, uh, let's see, with regards to the 44th and France um, draft, it is now public. Um, I, I might uh, recommend that there be some process to get public feedback, uh, either through Speak Up Forum, uh, somewhere that it can be submitted, uh, rather than just straight email. I think right now, it, I don't know how it's set up, but I, yeah, something like that. Um, I know that we did that previously for Wooddale Valley View, and it was a nice way to kind of collect and aggregate all the different comments. Mr. Strauss. Yeah, just for um, public information, we will be having our third community um, outreach meeting regarding the 70th and Cahill small area uh, planning process. That is this Saturday at the Public Works Garage. So this is the third and I believe last of the community um, meetings. And uh, like I said, it'll be this Saturday, 9 to 11, the Public Works Garage. Thank you. Um, and and by, by the way, regarding the idea of feedback for the small area plan online, uh, Carrie, is that something the staff could do? Or would there is a form online for, for residents to fill out and submit their comments. Those comments then all get directed to the Planning Commission. And there's an, also an opportunity to submit comments to the City Council as well. Yeah, thanks. Any any other commissioners like like Good to discuss? Commissioner Lee. Uh, just a question for Carrie. So is that specific to the 44th in France? Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you. Any anyone else have other conversations with other boards and Commissioner Lee? Or are you just talking about boards and commissions? Sorry, I had a separate just a chip, uh, member comment. So we're right. not there yet. I'll <laughs> hold. Well, why, uh, why don't you share it? Um, this was a question I had uh, raised to the chair, so I don't know, Carrie, if that got conveyed to you, but um, I'm aware that the uh, Guitar Center project will be returning uh, probably late March, early April. So uh, in regards to following up with the Greater Southdale um, plan, I had asked earlier if there could be some type of summary uh, guideline that we could use to evaluate these projects. And I just uh, wondered if you could update us on that, if we so, have anything before then. So we do have the guiding principles that we've been using. So that, that's our tool that's been officially recognized by the City Council for you all to consider anytime there's a comprehensive plan amendment in place. In fact, we're using that citywide. Um, we do, uh, um, short answer, yes, we're trying to kind of summarize all of those principles and put together a list of kind of those give to get items. Um, the intent is to circulate it through the work group. Whether it's done in time for the 28th, um, we'll see. Thank you. So just a second, we have a lot of uh, students in the audience tonight. So I just wanna say one thing we're talking about, the boards and commissions and the comprehensive plan. The comprehensive plan is created every 10 years. It's directed, it's a, it's a metro-wide program. It's not just the city of Edina, where each city comes up with a plan for and how it visions, envisions the city growing and changing over the next 10 years. And we're in the middle of that process. We'll end probably around the end of the year. And, and it's a large document that's available publicly. And so we're talking, when we're talking about liaisoning, liaisoning, I, I, sorry, I can't say the word, but I hope you know what I'm saying, with the other, there, there are eight other boards and commissions in the city of Edina besides the Planning Commission, and they all contribute, heritage preservation, human rights, transportation, and so we have various interactions with them to get the materials for the comprehensive plan that we'll put together. So that's for the students in the audience, so you know, so you have a little more understanding what we're talking about. Um, with that, are there any other board, or excuse me, any other comments from anyone here tonight? Commissioner Hobbs. Uh, yeah, tonight's my last night on the Planning Commission. Um, so uh, I, I was hoping to be not as anticlimactic as it is tonight. I mean, go out in kind of a flurry of some 
controversial issue, but um, uh, yes, as I think most of you know, my company is transferring me out to California, so that's where I'll be moving uh, soon. So um, I just wanted to say that it really has been a pleasure serving on the Planning Commission um, for the past three and a half years or there, thereabouts. Um, and uh, a lot of great things are happening in this community, and this commission really is a big part of that. So it has been a pleasure. I, I, I will still kind of be around, so um, there are some things that I still owe folks for the Southdale uh, plan, so I'll be working on that as well. But just want to say thank you to all of you here and to the city for the opportunity. So thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Steve. I, I, you've been a great member, and uh, I get that feedback from people not on the Planning Commission. So good luck, and thank you for everything you've done. Thanks. Uh, is there anything else? The next item is uh, staff comments. We have Carrie Teague with us. Yes, thank you, uh, Chair, members of the Commission. I, too, want to thank Steve for all his years of service. It's been fantastic. Time has flown. So good luck in the future, but we'll see you with Southdale here in the next few months. Um, the only update I have from the City Council is at their last meeting, they did adopt the rooftop dining ordinance. They didn't make any changes to it, so it was as recommended by the Planning Commission. That's all I have. I got Carrie, could, could you um, perhaps share, for those that maybe did not see the City Council meeting, their reaction to the water treatment plant? I thought it was interesting as compared to, if you could maybe <coughs> summarize. How could I forget the, yes. <laughs> so they did approve the variance as was recommended. They um, had some concern over the architecture. So one of the conditions was the building plans as presented, they took that condition out and so the variance was approved for 19 feet, but the building will likely look different from what was proposed. They'd like to uh, make it more architecturally enhanced, maybe some public art, a lot of ideas out there. Um, so it was approved, but it may come back to them with a very different look. Anything further questions or? Well, I was just going to finish because the, our own discussion, um, as famously stated by Commissioner Bennett, which I won't repeat, but um, you know, was, was quite favorable. And I was um, somewhat excited to see that the council um, said, let's go bigger or better. You know, that, I thought that was a, um, I guess I wasn't expecting that, but that was interesting. Thank you. So we can then step motion comments. to adjourn. Yeah. Motion, uh, motion, and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>